Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divinely Designed, and we're making a soap video today. I don't normally do voiceovers, but I totally messed up kind of uh, the description and what happened here. So, doing a voiceover for this soap. This is going to be a 100% coconut oil soap with a 20% super fat. I'll be using the Brambleberry Square silicone mold. Um, I'm fragrancing the one half with lemongrass essential oil from New Directions Aromatics, and the other with Four Leaf Clover Fragrance Oil from Nature's Garden. I'm using some pumice powder from Nature's Garden, and then coloring it with some Yellow Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soup Supply, mixed with a little Neon Mica from TKB Trading. I was going to attempt to do kind of a soap stamp where you press it in, but uh, it didn't really work out so well, um, and you'll see why here in a second. Uh, but this is a technique I learned from Clara Lindberg, who it takes beautiful pictures and makes great soap. I'm going to link to her blog below, so check her out. So the recipe is just 100, uh, I'm sorry, 1,050 grams of uh, 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 coconut oil, 76 degree, 230 gram, 231 grams of water, and 154 grams of lye. Now, I just added the lye mixture and, and mixed it up with the color, and then I'm just dividing this in half because I want to fragrance one half with the lemongrass essential oil, which will also contain the pumice powder, and then the other half with the four-leaf clover. Um, you'll see me here pour the pumice powder mixture half into the silicone molds, molds just to, sort of in the half. What ended up happening was the four clover fragrance oil um, sped up so fast. It accelerated so much. It was crazy and got super hard. So this stayed nice and liquid, the one with the lemongrass. And so I'm pouring it in here. But as I'm doing that, the other one is firming up. Um, if I would have tried, I was going to wait to let the bottom portion for, firm up a little before I poured the top portion, but it became so hard, um, I stopped the camera and wasn't quite sure what to do. So I ended up just sort of um, plopping it in the top and sort of scraping it uh, to be kind of smooth, but it sped up so fast. It was just, it was crazy. And then it heated up a lot. Um, I immediately started getting gel um, with, even with this small amount here. Now here's uh, me sort of showing the the attempt at doing what I was going to do to all of the soaps was to use this soap stamp kind of on top of the soap. And it's a very easy technique. Uh, the wire I am using is from the jewelry crafting section of um, a hobby store like Michael's or AC Moore, but it's a very bendable kind of wire. It's very easy to manipulate without any kind of tools or anything. So I made a simple spiral design on it. You want to make it nice and flat and then kind of create a handle. And then you just press it down into the wet soap and pull straight up. And that will leave the impression of the little wire design that you make. Um, really simple technique. Can You can do some really creative and kind of fun things with it. So here you can kind of see the example of just that one soap I did. Um, that soap is just the pumice powder soap, which stayed fairly liquid. So I, I ended up having one of the square molds just contain the pumice powder one. The other ones I scraped the very hard um, four leaf clover piece into the other mold and just sort of smoothed it out. It ended up working okay. Um, and the color, because I had colored the whole thing the same color, when I unmold them, um, it you can't really tell that there's kind of a difference. If I had colored each of the halves differently, I, I bet the, the end result of the soap would have looked kind of wonky here. Um, but as it turns out, when I when I go to all the, unmold these in a second, it looks pretty uniform in terms of the color itself. Now this could I could have unmolded these really quickly. These were really hard, probably four hours after 
I um, after I poured them, but I did let them sit overnight and then unmolded them the next morning. And this next piece should be just the unmolding. Nothing super exciting here, but uh, you know this the brambleberry silicon mold works beautifully. It gives you nice smooth glass-like sides to it. Uh, the one interesting thing I found here is the pumice powder doesn't look like there's a lot in there and I was a little worried it wouldn't be really scratchy because that's kind of what you want in a mechanic soap, you know, to cut the grease and grime and um, get that stuff off your hands. Um, I've used walnut powder before, crushed walnut shells that has worked really well. But I did test these after I unmolded them and it, it is super, it's very scratchy. It works really great here, the pumice powder. And I used about three tablespoons of that for this soap mixture. The lemongrass and the clover um, together smell beautiful. My kitchen is just smelling so great this morning. So, and that's it. Click that thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And comments, questions, leave them below. Thanks very much for watching.